Tinsfield is a lot of fun, a little bit of stress, uh, <laughs> and a tremendous amount of pleasure. I began volunteering as a tour guide. When we first opened, we had no car park, no visitor facilities at all, no toilets, no nothing. And visitors were brought up by a small blue coach, which sets seated about 24 people, I think, from Tesco's car park. And we saw the little blue coach arriving, and it was curtain up. We were on for two hours. Total strangers, and you got to know people in that time. It was really wonderful. We talked our, talked our heads up for, for two hours and took people around the house. Then Tinsfield opened up to free flow and we stood in rooms and talked to people and told them you know, about the room, about the history, about the house, the family. At the moment, I am a group leader. I didn't think I could do this current role when I first started. I'm not leadership material, I lead from the centre. <laughs> I boss people around, I organise people, but I didn't realise that I could do this. Group leader to front of house, over. Front of house receiving. I just want Looking back on my life, I've realised I've been do doing it all my life with my family, school, everything, but um, you know, it, that, that has really brought it out. At the latter part of one's life, to be given a role like this, which has been amazing. So I can thank Tinsville, the National Trust, for that, definitely. Over lunchtime, the drawing room, the billiard room, the steward room, they'll need to be roped off. So if you're in one of those, before the... Yes, there is a little stress. The stress is organising the, the uh, house volunteers on a week-to-week -week basis, finding enough volunteers, slotting them into appropriate places. Um, they don't like, quite understandably, to do the same room two weeks running. Yes. We had a house manager once who used to say it was doing the Tinsville Sudoku, <laughs> organising the room sheet. Oh, yes. Yes. The day goes so fast. You go in through the kitchen door at well, half past nine and you sort of crawl out very tired at five o'clock and the day has just flown by. You just don't know where it's gone. It's been the most amazing day. You've met so many people dealt with situations, it's been absolutely wonderful. I couldn't imagine giving it up. <laughs>